hi guys um i've seen there's a little debate going on in my comments about the coPD um stages um so to settle the score <laughs> only joking to so sort of um there's nobody's right or wrong um people have been told what they're told and stuff but um i am going to just sort of read um uh, through the, the stages of coPD and i'll tell you where you can find all this information as well okay so stage one again I've it all down so i don't want to miss inform anyone stage one is called mild copd obviously um and it's where your lung capability is about 80 percent of its normal uh, normal rate and um, it's possible that um when an individual sort of gets it you know starts off um they, they sort of put the symptoms down to other things you know like smoking um just over you know knackered that day think things like that um but your symptoms will be like sort of um a constant cough with with, with you know um coughing up what you call it phlegm basically <clears throat> um then you'll move on to stage two uh, and that's moderate um it's uh, at this stage your coughing and your, your phlegm will be uh, really 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 more noticeable um and you'll be concerned and your shortness of breath uh, will occur after even the lightest um of the physical activities and like sort of into day to day uh, and your lungs will be f uh, that functioning uh, 50 to 80 percent okay uh, and as a result um, normally it's at this stage where people sort of seek go, you know go, go and seek help and they're normally prescribed sort of inhalers from the from the doctors then you've got stage three um excuse me um by by stage three um your lung case capability uh are functioning at about 30 to 50 percent and your symptoms are more severe and they'll include fre uh, frequent flare-ups which are chest infections uh, sometimes it can lead to hospital admission as well um caused by lung infection obviously um and um everyday sort of inhalers are given um for uh, the the powder ones like this um and they are to help prevent it you take it in the morning um it doesn't seem to do that much to be, to be honest uh, but anyway um, your symptoms are obviously worsening uh, due to uh, your lungs um, being less capable of repairing themselves, uh, obviously, um, and that sort of um, leaves people to uh, leaves you open to uh, lung um, infections. So you know, then you've got the stage four. Then stage four is obviously the last stage, uh, your severe stage. Um, say it's um, your lungs are now only at bit, about thirty percent of its normal uh, quality of life, um, and um, in stage four, your quality. Your symptoms are the most severe, obviously, um, and, well, what can you say? <laughs> your cough's horrendous, um, you, you're always, always having sort of, um, you know, chest infections on a very, very more, more frequent basis, um, and it starts to affect, you know, everything, really. You can't You can't do much for yourself whatsoever. Um, now... I even went actually as far as uh, contacting the Lung um, Foundation, okay? And there is a phone number which I'm going to give you, and you can add them on WhatsApp, and and you can talk to talk to them on there, okay? Now I said to them, can you confirm that there are four stages to CLPD? This is the reply I got, okay? I can confirm CLPD is graded in four stages, okay? Now, if you want to add this, it's an Asthma and Lung UK nurse, okay? The number is 0737-8606-728. Now, if you want to do um, a Google search as well, you can just put in the stages of COPD. That will give you all the information you need. Um, you can also watch some videos on here. Again, just put COPD, the stages, and it'll bring them all up. Or they are, um, if you go onto my playlist, there is, they're, they're on there, mine. Um, there's some websites for you. One's everydayhealth.com, um, activebeat.com, alto.com, and libertymedical.com. They've got 33 years of experience. Now, please believe me, I have got stage four, COPD, all brought on by drugs. Okay, I hope that puts everybody at rest.